What is up guys and I'm bringing you some hazard uh, it is a remake of the world at war um, Map called cliffside and this one is one of my favorites Unfortunately, this is my very first time playing on it and I joined the game a little bit late It is a domination playlist and uh, this map is so awesome All right, this is just look at this map. It's got interaction with sprinklers. The grass is so green it's got like the little golf course clubhouse kind of thing and just the feel vibe of this map makes me want to play it and honestly makes me in a bit of a good mood like just seeing everything all green all the flowers all the fountains like the the countryside golf club and blah 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 blah, blah. but really though th this is a this is an amazing map and it reminds me a whole lot like cliffside but uh they just uh, made it black ops style and instead of being like a japanese beach it is now, um, it looks like a, possibly a, maybe Vietnamese, Chinese, maybe even, possibly even American, uh, but I think it's Cuban actually, that's what it is, it's Cuban golf course, but it, you know what, it's awesome, I love it guys, it is, as of right now, probably my favorite map, I would say so, um, not, nothing against the other maps, the other maps are great, they're fantastic, and um, they're all good maps, the only one that I'm not a crazy for as of like at the moment, like and don't get me wrong, I still like it, but is um silo. Silo's a bit big, but you know what? Um it could mean for good uh good games, competitive games as well, but it's just one of those maps where it's gonna be like a slow team death match or so on. But uh don't get me wrong, they're really fun games and this one is one of my favorite Call of Duty maps to date. And uh this honestly makes me even though I'm gonna play Black Ops, makes me kind of want to jump on World at War and uh, get on some cliffside and shit. But uh, if you're thinking over buying the map pack and wondering if it's worth the fifteen dollars, yes, I'd say that this is Treyarch's by far best ever map pack DLC. It, it's just so enjoyable. Um, if you don't like the maps, you gotta give me a reason why. I don't know what's to complain about this. And uh, the zombies feature in this one, they went all out, guys. If you think Call of the Dead went, like, it was Beast, oh boy, you should see this zombies map. The interactions and all the cool little features that zombies had. I remember when zombies had no perks, nothing. It was just the mystery box and the guns on the wall. And uh, that's all. I remember that. And that, that was the good old days. But, man, you got you can't, like, dislike them now. And that right there, there is a rock that's glitched. It's kind of like the fuel rock. You can kind of sit inside of it and you get stuck. Once you jump onto it, you can't get out. But um, I'm sure they'll fix that in a day or two. Can't complain. But uh, look, look at how beautiful this map is, guys, from the overlook view. And I know people didn't want me to cut out the chopper gunners because they wanted to see it. But uh, th this is it. And uh, this, make, this map is just... It puts me in a good mood. I want to commentate this video. And... Uh, Air support's pretty good on this map. The only problem I'd say is that if there's a ghost kid, you'd have a really hard time finding him. But um, there's not much place to hide, so if you're on the enemy team, make sure the guy doesn't get his chopper gun, all right? You don't want the enemies getting choppers on this map. But this map is really wide open. It's got a great feel to it, like I already said multiple times. You're like, all right, Chris, I understand. You like the map. But um, guns I would recommend. Uh, I'm going to do that for each map. Um, the guns I would recommend for this map would probably be, um, long range weapons, of course, just like Cliffside, guys, it's, it's very sniper friendly and long range and long lines of sight, and there's gonna be a lot of those engagements, so I would, my, I'd say the best weapon to choose for this is probably the G11, and I don't know how I died there, that nuke didn't even hit me, but, whatever, um, the G11 and the M16, other good guns that would work would be the FN Foul, the M14. Sniper rifles would work fine on this map too. Just don't run around too much with them. There's there's honestly corners in this map that I haven't even seen yet. I haven't even explored this map to its full potential. But um, yeah, this this map there's not a whole lot of close range engagements. You can see right here. I'm just I'm um this right here is a good spot if you have a and b because if you see that b flag flashing this map is a hard flag to get b on but like it's completely out in the open all there is is one little rock and it's not that big of a rock um you, you might see it in a minute here uh maybe not though but um 
trust me guys, the B flag's hard to get. So once you get it, it I'd say just aim down sight at it. You might get a bit boring, but you're going to win the game that way. And uh, I see, like, this is just like Cliffside going up top and going in, like, the little dune area. And instead they put in a little, look like a little coffee shop or something, but or a bar, sorry. But uh, I, I like how they changed it all. And there's, like, a little pathway that was the dirt path, and now it's, like, all patio stones and, like, bricks and stuff like that. And this is a great area to spawn trap on. I know the spawns are a bit corrupt, but, um... They, they probably won't change the spawns. Um, Call of Duty spawns in general aren't that great. And I think, I'm pretty sure we're all aware of that. But, um, see I pick up my third chopper. But unfortunately, this game I only had two kill streaks set. And I went on a couple 11 kill streaks, which would have been my dogs or chopper gunner. But, uh, oh well. Um, sorry, not chopper gunner, gunship. But, uh, unfortunately I didn't get to put on my third kill streak before the game starts. But, um... Look at this kid. The G11 is a really good gun too. I just started using it, but this kid wised up and turned on me. But um, I'd, I'd recommend this would be probably the best map for domination. Um, I haven't played TDM a whole lot on these like I did the DLCs last time they first the first time they came out last time. But um, look at this line of sight. This was really risky me running up constantly on it, but uh. I guess it worked for me, and I almost got killed by this attack helicopter. But, um, I'll make sure I'll bring all maps to you by probably tomorrow or the next day. But, um, the, the DLC is, uh, I recommend it. <laughs> um, that'd be my final words on it. And, um, th this is pretty much just like the end of the gameplay here. Um, unfortunately, this care package disappears while I'm taking it. No one take. I'm like, who the hell took it? But I guess no one actually did take it. And I go into my third chopper, which I really wish I had um, a third kill streak set. All I had was Blackbird chopper, but if I had gunship or dogs, man, these kids would have been done. And unfortunately, they called in a Blackbird, and they were able to find me inside their spawn. But you know what? I was like, ah, too bad. But um, man, I, I really wish I had that third kill streak set. But you can see after my third chopper gunner, they wised up when they uh, they took out my air support. But um, this right here is the end of the game, guys. And don't forget to maybe favorite this video. That would be fantastic. And uh, maybe show a bit of support on my channel and my videos, guys. But anyways, thank you for watching. And have a good day. Peace.